So guys, it's definitely early, but we are now getting our first hint at the holiday update that is about to roll out in the next couple of weeks. What's really intriguing about this one is that it acts as the foundation for what's coming, meaning that this doesn't include all the flashy stuff just yet, but it serves as a stability package ahead of the big holiday push. Earlier this week, Tesla rolled out a new software update to smaller batches of owners, giving them the first preview of what they should expect from the holiday season software package, including two small but meaningful updates in the change logs. Throughout the weekend and into Monday, more and more owners have reported receiving software version 2025.44, also referred to as the holiday baseline update since it's designed to prepare the fleet for the upcoming major update. As of today, the build is sitting at just 1% of the global fleet, which is typical for Tesla's staggered rollout strategy. They'll let the update sit with a smaller rollout group, fix reported bugs, and then gradually expand to the next wave until it becomes mainstream. Although this version does not include any of the actual new holiday features, likely to avoid leaks and keep surprises, it includes internal changes that points to what Tesla is really getting ready for. But then, now, what is immediately available are two new additions that improves the current functionalities rather than change anything with the holiday update. First, as part of the 2025.44 package, Tesla has added a dash cam upgrade for Intel vehicles, giving older Model 3s and Model Ys the same grid view dash cam player that the newer AMD based cars already received. This was originally unavailable due to performance limitations of the older chips, but Tesla has appeared to have successfully optimized the software and reduced the processing load so it can now run on all supported Intel based vehicles. Then for the second documented feature in the change logs, it enables owners to exclude home or specific locations when cabin overheat protection or no AC mode is enabled. It sounds like a small update on paper, but it will noticeably improve range and battery consumptions since cabin overheat can stress a surprising amount of energy if it runs regularly in a garage or home location where it doesn't really need to be active. Now, in similar note, something particularly interesting was noticed by multiple owners of newly refreshed 2026 Model S and Model X. Tesla appears to have removed a feature inside the toy box related to this holiday update. Santa mode, which lets the visualization change into holiday animations, have been disabled and completely removed from the toy box menu on select models. However, it doesn't seem to be a permanent change as owners trying to activate Santa mode through a voice command by saying phrases such as Rudolph run Rudolph, ho ho ho, or enable Santa mode gets different messages now. The vehicle responds with Santa mode is not available, but it's coming very soon. All signs point to Santa mode being intentionally removed ahead of major release and it lines up perfectly with what owners have spotted. The latest autopilot visualization now reveals a fully redesigned Santa experience complete with new elves, updated animations, and a modern transparent sleigh. All right, so it's clear that Tesla is keeping everything a secret, likely up until the last week before Christmas, and they're using this to build and test the stability before the 2025.44.25 update arrives, which enables all of the awesome features. Now, thanks to Not A Tesla app, who have shared a list of requested features that you guys have sent in, this list here is very exciting and something very plausible to be coming with the final builds. Running quickly down the list here, we have the most requested feature from top to bottom and then bottom to top, a 360 degree top down view, customizable UI for multiple floating windows similar to the original unreleased version 11, Grok to completely take over all functions of the car, interior lighting that allows rainbow effects similar to what we've seen with the prototype Cybertrucks back in the days. And then the app store, the official store from Tesla that allows third party and developers to create very specific and very cool apps that all of us can access. Lastly, one we have talked about in the previous video, Apple CarPlay that is expected to come with this update and we are really looking forward to it. Now, in other news, Tesla has just launched a zero down payment Model Y leasing in the US. They're stacking free upgrades on top as well, which is a strong push heading into the holiday season. With this update, 
Tesla has removed the $3,000 cash down payment that was previously required for the popular $479 per month Model Y lease. According to Tesla's website, the zero down lease applies to the Model Y premium rear wheel drive starting at $479 per month for 36 months and the premium all-wheel drive configuration also gets the same zero down structure starting at $529 per month with identical lease terms. Tesla is now able to offer this lower barrier entry thanks to the internal 6500 lease credit that they've activated on October 1st, just one day after the federal tax credit expired. The credit is automatically baked into the lease price and of course, Tesla notes that it's subject to change and end at any moment. On top of the zero down payment, Tesla is adding one free premium upgrade with every new Model Y lease. Customers can choose from premium paint, pearl white multi coat, deep blue metallic, diamond black, quicksilver, or ultra red. Or instead, they can opt for 21 inch Helix 2.0 wheels, white interior or tow hitch rated for 3,500 pounds. So there we have it guys. Tesla is definitely warming up for the holiday season, rolling out a quiet baseline update now that sets it up for a much bigger lineup of features in the coming weeks. While at the same time, they are pushing out some aggressive Model Y lease offers stacked with premium add-ons. Quite honestly, if there were any point in time this year that you were waiting for a Model Y lease, this is probably the best time with everything being offered including some pretty sweet referral deals going on right now. As for the holiday update, it's the same strategy each and every year. They push it out through multiple small waves, stabilizing the software early, and then drop the big holiday update right before the week of Christmas. This year, however, is just a little bit different with some additional UI tweaks and redesigns of Santa mode. So they're just pushing it out a little bit earlier. The first waves are now rolling out. But overall, we can expect some pretty interesting bug-free options and features in the next few weeks. All of this is just really exciting. We've seen so many interesting things come from the year-end Christmas holiday update 2023, 2024, and now 2025. We are going to see so many fantastic things. And I have my fingers crossed for the Tesla App Store as well as Apple CarPlay. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I would love to hear your thoughts here. Anyways, I will continue to keep an eye out for everything new that comes out, but just an FYI here, video releases might be limited or non-existent throughout this whole entire week. I am out for a short vacation here, so bear with me. I, of course, will still look out for any new updates and I'll push out a video as quickly as possible as soon as I return. So like I said, bear with me. Hope you guys enjoyed all of this. I will continue to be here so don't hit that unsubscribe button, click it if you haven't already done so, that bell, Twitter, X, at Hey Johnny, do all of that and drop me a comment. This should be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.